What is the story of the Mahdi, Isa alayhi salam, Jesus Christ, the Messiah, and the final victory of Al-Aqsa? Brothers and sisters, first and foremost, so who are Banu Israel? They are the children who came from the progeny of Ya'qub alayhi salam. Israel means the man of God or the strength that follows God. Brothers and sisters, oppression and injustice is continuing in these people. It hasn't stopped and they've never lived in security. And brothers and sisters, you know, victory has two meanings. The first meaning is a temporary one. The second meaning is a real one. And the second meaning, which is the real meaning, the victory of your faith, your cause, and what you stand for. And if it is justice, and it is the way that Allah is pleased with God, number one, because He owns the earth, that is true victory. And if you die on that, that is victory. But you can see, subhanAllah, brothers and sisters, the Palestinians, we have not seen people stronger and more resilient than them. There are others, yes, but to that extent, subhanAllah. They see their children dying in front of them. They are torn to pieces in front of them. They are losing everything in front of them from a materialistic world. And yet, did you see any one of them even, even for once? And that's what's frustrating the state of Israel. That's what's frustrating them. These people just don't give up. وَقَضَيْنَا إِلَىٰ بَنِي إِسْرَائِيلَ فِي الْكِتَابِ لَتُفْسِدُنَّ فِي الْأَرْضِ مَرَّتَيْنِ وَلَتَعْلُنَّ عُلُوًا كَبِيرًا Allah said, the children of Israel will corrupt twice on earth. And they will rise high. But... They will rise high with oppression and injustice after God gave them power. Then Allah says, فَجَاسُوا خِلَالَ الدِّيَارِ وَكَانَ وَعْدًا مَفْعُولًا Allah says, Then when the first promise has come, what is the first promise? The first promise on when you will be given power and you will corrupt. Allah says, And we sent upon you servants of ours who entered the land and walked everywhere into your homes, into your shops, into your kingdoms, you, everywhere you looked, they were around you, meaning total occupation. When did this happen? In the story that I told you. When the Romans and the Persians and the Babylonians and the Assyrians and then the Egyptians, all of them, they came in and they took it. Allah says in the Quran, ثُمَّ رَدَدْنَا لَكُمُ الْكَرَّةَ عَلَيْهِمْ وَأَمْدَدْنَاكُمْ بِأَمْوَالٍ وَبَنِينَ وَجَعَلْنَاكُمْ أَكْثَرَ نَفِيرًا Then we returned again for you over them. Who is you? They are the Muslims, the believers. At what time? At the time of Umar ibn al-Khattab radiallahu anhu. And yet another tafsir of this ayah is that the future is still awaiting. That the believers will take it over in the future. But then Allah says in the Quran, فَإِذَا جَاءَ وَعَدُ الْآخِرَةِ لِيَسُوءُ وَجُوهَكُمْ وَلِيَدْخُلُ الْمَسْجِدِ وَلِيَدْخُلُوا الْمَسْجِدَ كَمَا دَخَلُوهُ أَوَّلَ مَرَّةٍ وَلِيُتَبِّرُوا مَا عَلَوْ تَتْبِيرًا When Allah says, and when the second and final time comes to pass, you will enter the Holy Land and cause, Allah says, they will enter and they will cause humiliation to your faces. Whose faces? Some of the Mufassirun said, the faces of the believers. The people that are in there. And they will corrupt and destroy whatever they built downwards. Everything that's high, they will destroy and corrupt. They will cause destruction. They will cause chaos. 
that will cause oppression. And the scholars who interpret it this way took history and the current situation which fits better with the meanings of these verses. The current state of uh, Al-Quds and the Israeli state. I've heard some people, especially some Muslims, they listen to stuff on TikTok and other places, social media. And I've seen this trend of a drum blowing and you hear the word Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. And people, they say, imagine hearing that voice. I would run. And how are you going to run to it? And how are you going to hear the voice, Aslan? And who are they? And how do you know that Al-Mahdi is attached to the current state of Israel right now in Palestine? And right now people are asking me, is this the sign of the Mahdi? Is the Mahdi come out? Is the Dajjal alive? Is this is where the end of time? Is this the... I want to fix some misconceptions, brothers and sisters. There is nothing in the Quran or the Sunnah, even in the weak hadiths. Al-Mahdi means the uh, guided one. Al-Mahdi, my dear brothers and sisters, will come out insha'Allah. We don't know if he has come out yet or he is yet to come out. Only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows. But he will not come out at the fall of Palestine or the fall of uh, sorry, Israel or whatever. So there's no connection really. But insha'Allah, what will happen is this. Based on all the ahadith, to cut it short, that Israel will fall. The way they're going, they cannot last. 75 years and the core of the problem is still there. Al-Mahdi will come at a time from the context of the hadiths where Israel has already fallen. Because it says in Sahih Muslim Bukhari that when Isa alayhi salam arrives and he will go to pray in the, in the Minar al bayda the white minaret, the army of the Amir is there. And they will be heading to where? To Bayt al-Maqdis. When Isa alayhi salam enters Bayt al-Maqdis, the Mahdi and the army are already there. And who is there at the same time on earth? The Dajjal, the false messiah. And Isa alayhi salam will come and his mission will be to kill the Dajjal. That the Dajjal will come from a place towards Al-Aqsa to fight the army of Al-Mahdi, the Muslims. Yani. And we are already in Al-Aqsa way before. And with him, there will be 70,000 Jews whose lineage is from Asbahan or Esfahan. And then Isa alayhi salam will come out and when he sees the Dajjal, he melts in front of people and he starts running away. And then he comes and kills him with his sword and then blood stains on his sword. And he says to the people, if this was your God, because they start believing he is their God. They believe he is the Messiah. Will he die? And that's when a large group of Christians themselves, they return back to truth. The Mahdi will come out according to the Hadith, which is in Abu Dawud, Tirmidhi, that he'll come out from the Far East. Where is the Far East? There is a Hadith which says that he comes from Khurasan. And the black flags will come from Khurasan and that's the sign. But the Hadith is weak, brothers and sisters, and there's nothing authentic about Khurasan in itself. But black flags will come to support Al-Mahdi from the Far East of Medina. So towards Iraq and that area.